Hey, it's John again here to play some Immaculate Grid. Uh, coming off yesterday, I think I did all right, but I, uh, I I said Matt Alonzo instead of Pete Alonzo. That was weird. Um, anyway, I was talking about Pete Alonzo with uh, whatever it was, grid number 53, I guess. Um, I'm going to uh, – oh, one other uh, correction I had. A, a few episodes ago, I said that Rob Thompson – and Robbie Thompson were the same person. Robbie Thompson being the second baseman for the Giants in the 80s and 90s, and uh, Rob Thompson being the current manager of the Phillies. thought they were the same guy. They're not the same guy. I got that wrong. Thanks for all those in the comments who uh, uh, corrected me on that. I 100% thought that, I, I, like, the age was the right, the, the name was the same. I assumed they were the same guy. They're not. So... Let's see what other blunders I make today, but hopefully I at least get the low rarity score because that's what I go for. We're sharing. This was a low rarity score on grid number 53 here. Going to do that and play, and away we go. That's a Carl Crawford combo. Great. That's a Dante Bichette combo. Going to be a little lower probably. Uh, let's see. Babe Ruth got to 2,000 hits. Uh, let's see. Balf, Grant Balfour, I think, played for both these teams. Uh, let's see. It's an Adam Dunn combo. And then 2,000 hits batting. Show me Miguel Tejada. All right. Playing in right field. I think Dave Martinez will work here 1.0 jay bruce played a lot of right field and then any right fielder with 2000 hits henry aaron all right 48 on the rarity score 55 on the time that's a pretty good rarity score yeah i mean maybe dave martinez was i should not have played him because there's bound to be people lower than that Balfour. I could have gone Conseco there. That would have been an interesting pick. Um, well, no, it probably would have just been a high pick. Would have been the best pick or the yeah, it would have been the or worst pick, depending on how you look at it. Bichette over here at point three. Have to figure out where I'm going to use my guy, Al Simmons. Fives across the bottom here. All right. So pretty like sub fifty on a. 55 second rarity is a pretty good combo. I'm sure there's a math equation you could do to optimize these things. Because, like, getting a rarity score of six or seven or eight or whatever, or two, like Jeff, um, is uh, a lot of fun. Um, but if it takes you like 12 minutes to do so, is that really more impressive than getting like a 20 in a minute? I don't know. I, I haven't gotten a 20 in a minute, though. I've never done that. This is one of the better ones. I think I've been in the 30s on the time round. Um, someone can fact check me on that. Um, just kidding. Nobody's, nobody's going to possibly want to go do that. All right. There's that 53 grid number 53 hitting that, hitting that no time on this one. Got a little bit more time. All right. I think I will use... My guy, Al Simmons, here. Goes sub point one off to a decent start. Um, This is a Hinsky combo. Eric Hinsky. Goes sub one, decent. And any player who played for the Red Sox and got to 2,000 hits. But uh, maybe a Tony Perez would work. Let's see. I think Piazza would work down here. Uh, what do we think of? Oh, Ben Grieve will work in both places, though. Oh, that's an interesting one. While we're here, A's and Reds. How's it again? Point five. And let's see. 
Reds right field. I know Cy Seymour mainly played center, but maybe he dipped into right. Frank Robinson certainly works. Ken Griffey Sr. certainly works. Not sure on Lee May. Dave Parker will work. Um, who was who's playing right field for the Reds when I first started following them? Probably will Reggie Sanders maybe work? Yeah, I don't know how how low that's going to go though. Um, and let's see here, over here, right fielders with over 2,000 hits or just anyone who's played right field at any point for even a game in their major league career. Um, I think we've established Cap Anson played every position on the field. So he goes .06. Also read somewhere that he had like some hits docked because they were actually just walks. So he's not actually a member of a 3,000 hit club? That's not shown on his baseball reference page, is it? No, he's easily a 3,000 hit. Oh, maybe these stats don't count. What's the uh, what's the verdict there? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's some question about these stats actually counting. Anyway. Um, I'm not sure if Adrian Gonzalez got to 2,000 hits. That'd be an interesting one. Um, Jim Rice, Carl Stramski, Ted Williams will all work. The the left field 50-year triumvirate. Um, maybe you get a... Al Sims actually would have been a good pick there. Jimmy Fox probably works. Jimmy Perez, though. Let's see how he does. Sub one? Decent? And then let's see for the A's. We've established that in a slaughter played for the A's. I'm sure he got to 2000. That's a nice low score. So we got three under 0.1. Pretty decent. Any Reds player who's ever played right field for even a little bit. Um. How about Jay Bruce? Dave Parker covers a big part of the 80s. Paul O'Neill then takes over. I think O'Neill was traded for Roberto Kelly, but I believe Kelly mainly played center. Then Deion Sanders comes around somewhere in there. He was playing center, I think. Because O'Neill was flipped for Roberto Kelly. Um, I don't know if let's see, Pete Rose definitely played right field um for a little bit there. Frank Robinson played right field. I already mentioned him. Um, and then for the Rays. Who to sneak over there? Huff will work. Aubrey Huff played some right field. Um I'm not sure if Carl Everett was he was mainly a DH on that 08 team. I'm not sure if he ever made his way out there. Zobrist played a fair amount of right field. He'll also work for Rays and A's. Um, I've, I'm keeping Ben Grieve in my back pocket. Um, I also kind of think Gerald Williams is going to work. Uh, Randy Wynn will work. Um... Maybe Jose Cruz Jr. Let's let's try him. I'm I'm just yeah, I named a bunch of people who will work. I think he'll work here. All right, goes point three, decent. I'll go grieve here. Three percent. That kind of blows up my score a little bit. Not too much. I also went Gian here, but he also would have worked here. I think Alex Ochoa should work though. My guy. All right, a five with almost all of it coming on Ben Grieve. There were 64 options, so I probably could have found someone better. Let's uh, just look at the long storied history of this, this Rays A's relationship here. That's an Edwin Jackson combo. We got Matt Joyce. Damon gets in there. Moneyball fame. 
Ooh, Trevor Plouffe of John Boy Media fame. He'll work. I believe in Stephen Vogt. He'll work. Fernando Rodney in there. Carlos Pena. I think that one's going to be pretty popular because he's also of Moneyball fame. All right. Well, I think we're going to call it there. Thank you so much for playing, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.